What's going on? It's the Nameless Podcast. I am Matthew Lopez Chronics. It's another week. Another exciting week. This is coming to you on Memorial Day. I'm recording this on a Thursday. So, or whenever you decide to listen to this. Um, what I want to talk about today, well, it's really two things that have occurred in the last 24 hours that I really want to talk about. And and the other one I'll touch upon later and just because, God, putting them both together, it's just, I, I just, you know, I, I do not like too much darkness, but I want to be real with one thing. And that one thing is, ah, man, it's not expectations that you may have for your family, but sometimes, sometimes your family and your friends, they're going to let you down. And I don't, I don't really think that, I don't feel that it is done maliciously, right? But sometimes, Sometimes they're they're going to they're going to put things that are more important to them before you. And you know what? That's totally fine. Because one, there's no perfect people. Perfect doesn't exist. Perfect is bullshit. But setting expectations for anyone, even your family or your closest friends, is kind of foolish because you can't control their actions. You can't, the way they look at things, even if you think you communicate it 100% or just picture perfect, they might not understand. They might not understand and they might not value, they might not value it the same way as you do. And that's totally fine because they're their own person. And you really, truly can only control your own actions. So trying to set expectations and control other people's actions is just going to create friction in your life and to your universe. And what is that going to do? It's going to cause stress. And it's totally okay. You know, they want to miss something. They want to miss something that's important to you. That's on them. They're never going to get that back. Ever. They're never going to get that back. That's something they're going to have to live with. Period. I, I, there's really nothing else I can say about. It. And if it's important to you, and it's not important to them, that's fine. And that goes for decisions. I mean, there's gonna, there's a whole loads of decisions that you're probably gonna make that friends and family aren't gonna agree with. And that's totally cool. And at no point in time should that affect your relationship with them. I mean, will it potentially not grow you closer? And could it grow you further away? Okay, yeah, it could. It totally could. And that should be okay. Because are you living your life or are you living their life? But then again, it's just, you know... it. Not all families are great. Some families aren't going to be there for others. That's fine. If your if your close friends aren't there for you, they're not your close friends. Your family though are going to be there for life, regardless of what happens. They're always going to be a part of you. You can't get rid of it. I mean, it, and that's fine too. You just have to, you know, not put emphasis on it and realize that, regardless of how they are, you're going to be fine because you have a purpose. I always use a cliche of a calling card. You, you have a purpose. You know where you're going. You know where you are on this journey. And that's what matters. They, it, when it comes to what you want to do to succeed and what you're doing each and every day, if they don't want to be part of it, if they don't want to recognize it, if they don't want to take a minute to realize how amazing that is, then it's fine. That's their loss. They're never, ever going to get that back. Ever. That's their regret they get to live with. Not your regret. You can't regret that they're not going to be there for you. Why? 
Why would you regret that? That's their loss. You're going to create amazing things. If you're doing what you need to do each and every day, when you hit milestones and they're not there, that's their loss. Their loss. Not your loss. Their loss. Because then when they sit back 10, 20, 30 years from now and realize, damn, I never truly, truly appreciated what you were doing in the moment. And I have all these people, all these people telling me how amazing you are. And I was there. And I can't even speak for it because I was about myself first. And I'm sorry. And then you're going to appreciate that and that will wash away everything. But until that time comes, you do you. If you're on your journey of your why and you're living how you're going to get there, then you know what? If your friends aren't going to be there for you, then you got new friends because you're the average of all your friends. So if you don't have if you're not in the right environment and you don't have the right people encouraging you, then you need to get new people in your environment. And that includes your family. And one day I will go into more detail as to what I'm talking about, but I don't really want to I don't want to be negative. But I want to be encouraging and I want to add value with this. So if your family isn't there for you, it's fine. Because there are plenty of people out there that will support you, that will encouraging, it will encourage you and will lift you up. And you just need to find them. And when you find and when you find them, do what David Meltzer says. Can you help me or do you know someone that can help me? Learn to live that, learn to love it. Find people that you can truly look up to where you want to be in and then interact with those people. And they're amazing. And they'll, they'll, they'll be there to lift you up, talk to you. Family is a word, like perfect. Sometimes family is not going to be there for you. And that's fine. You can do you in the present to make your future. That's the Nameless Podcast. Hardcore (laughs) Memorial Day edition. Uh, Fired up. If you listen to this on Monday, this is a fired up Monday. Recording this on a Thursday, it is a fired up Thursday. So that's what I got for now. Hope everyone has a wonderful weekend and a great, well, I hope you had a great holiday. I was about to say have a great holiday, but we can't do any in Avengers, uh, Go back in time. So, have a hope everyone had a wonderful holiday. I will talk to all you soon. Have a great day.